Now that we've created our AWS AppSync API, let's go ahead and create a new React application that we'll use to interact with the API. Using Create React App, we'll create a new React application called To Do App. After the application has been created, let's go ahead and change into the new directory to install some dependencies. Using either yarn or npm, install AWS AppSync, AWS AppSync React, GraphQL Tag, and React Apollo. After the dependencies have finished installing, go ahead and open up the application in your code editor. The first thing we'll do here is we'll create a new file in our source directory called appsync.js that will hold our appsync configuration. Next, we'll open up our AWS AppSync API dashboard, scroll to the bottom, and click the download button to download the AWS AppSync.js config file. After the file has been downloaded, open it up in your code editor, copy the contents, and paste it into the new appsync.js file that we just created in our new project. Next, open up source slash index.js. We'll import client from AWS AppSync, Apollo provider from React Apollo, rehydrated from AWS AppSync React, and then the AppSync configuration that we just created. Next, we'll create a variable called client by creating a new AppSync client, passing in the URL, region, and authentication information for the client configuration. Next, we'll create a new component called with provider that will be the new entry point for our application. This will contain the Apollo provider wrapping the rehydrated component from AWS AppSync React, which then wraps the main app component. Finally, for the client prop to Apollo provider, pass in the new client variable that we just created. For the component argument to React DOM.render, replace the app component with the new with provider component that we just created. To make sure that everything is working correctly, we'll go ahead and run the React application by running npm start. If the React app loads and there aren't any errors, then you're ready to go to the next step.